Hello, folks. So far, building machine learning applications such as uh, applications like sentiment analysis, topic modeling, chatbots, you know, which involves text data, we not only need to know the machine learning concepts, but also need to have a clear grasp of natural language processing concepts as well. Otherwise, it would be very difficult to infer, uh, you know, uh, for humans to uh, what exactly these machine are predicting okay so in this video i'm going to explain what exactly is natural language processing and its various use cases in the subsequent videos i will uh, cover concepts like a uh, bag of uh, bag of words uh, tokenization stop words limitization pf idf uh, word embeddings etc so it is very important to understand natural language processing if we are building ai based applications because NLP gives machines the ability to read, understand, as well as derive important um, meaning from the human language. So watch this video till the end to get the complete information. Folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data, Hadoop, virtual reality, and cloud computing. And you can acquire uh, the related skill sets in order to advance your career in these fields. This channel takes on hands-on approach to build AI-based products and applications. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to it. Or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new videos about these hottest technologies of 21st century. So whenever a person converts, whether in written English or spoken English, it uh, carries enormous information, right? So this information contains tone, selection of words, topic of discussion, etc. Now, data generated from these conversations, discussions, or tweets are all examples of unstructured data. Unstructured, unstructured data is one which can't be stored in the traditional uh, row and column structure of relational databases, and that's why given name uh, unstructured. These days, it is no longer about trying to interpret a text or a speech based on its keywords. In fact, it's about understanding the meaning behind those words. That is, trying to find out figures of speech like irony and even perform sentiment analysis. The main problem with NLP or natural language processing is that of perception. So when we talk about perception, we have to uh, you know, start thinking about what intelligence really means. It is very important uh, and in fact, it is very easy to understand the, and predict human behavior using the textual information, but machine finds uh, it hard to interpret this human language and that's where natural language processing comes. Machine should be able to answer questions like why does cricket teams play cricket in open stadium? Just an example. So we understand the language in a way that uh, is grounded in sensation and action. When someone says uh, the word a dog, we map that uh, you know to our experience with uh, dogs, and we can talk to each other because we have had uh, you know similar experiences with dogs. This is a process of uh, in, you know this is the process uh, computer needs to understand uh, language. Natural language processing or NLP is a uh, you know, field of artificial intelligence that provides an ability to machines to read, uh, understand, and derive the meaning from human languages. It is a field of artificial intelligence where machines can interpret human languages and uh, provides a response in more contextual form. You can see that we have applications like Siri, Alexa, Google Assistant, you know, which can understand our spoken language and provides a response or takes unnecessary action. And with the boom in uh, ways to access data and increase computational power, we can easily build these sophisticated NLP-based applications. Now let's move on to some of the use cases of natural language processing. NLP can help with lots of activities and uh, some of the applications are, number one is sentiment analysis. Uh, 
you know sentiment analysis which can give a lot of information about customers choices and their decision uh, drive, drivers about a specific company's products and services okay and this is one application uh, for which i have given a demo very recently and i'm going to build this application from the scratch Number two is fake news identification, where a NLP-based application can determine if a source is accurate or not. That is, whether it's politically or socially biased, thereby detecting if a news source can be trusted or not. Number three in the list is um, NLP can help recognize and predict diseases based on patients' own speech using a chatbot or through electronic health records. For example, Amazon Comprehend Medical is a service which actually uses NLP to extract disease conditions, treatment outcomes, and medications from the, uh, you know, uh, patients' notes, clinical trial reports, and other electronic health records. Moving on, number four in the list is Google Assistant's Apple series. Uh, Siri and uh, Amazon's Alexa are some of the examples of intelligent voice-driven interfaces which use NLP to respond to vocal prompts and, you know, do everything like finding a particular restaurant, uh, sing a lullaby for our children, uh, tell us whether, uh, you know, tell us weather forecast, uh, turn on lights at home, etc. on using the voice commands. Okay, so these are some of the uh, use cases. Number fifth in the list is natural language processing is also being used in both the search as well as selection phases of the recruitment process, identifying the skill set of potential hires and you know also spotting uh, prospects before they become active on the job market. So in order to perform the NLP task and build NLP based application, we use Python libraries like NLTK and Spacey. Using these libraries, we can achieve complex tasks or build complex models. NLTK basically stands for Natural Language Toolkit and is one of the best known and most used NLP libraries useful for all sorts of tasks such as tokenization, stemming, tagging, parsing, etc. And I will be using these libraries to uh, write some uh, code specific to NLP based concepts like tokenization, stop words, word abiding. So stay tuned for upcoming videos since I'm going to uh, create videos associated to these concepts. So folks, this is it for this video. To conclude, I explained in detail what is natural language processing, where it is used, uh, some of the use cases involved. So let me ask you a question from today's video. What are some of the applications which require usage of natural language processing? Please post your comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also ask your technical questions in the comment section and I will be glad to answer your questions. If you're watching this video and you're not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. And in case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Uh, I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.